welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so that means that it is another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I am on the purple plan again this week. Just give it a good solid two week shot. So I will be putting the purple plan points that I'm using throughout the day. So the points that I'll be sharing with you are on the purple plan since that is the plan that I'm following this week. However, tonight's dinner recipe, I will have all of the points for all of the plans. So definitely hang in till the end to see this recipe because it was killer. So let's jump right into this What I Eat in a Day on WW. Here is this morning's breakfast. I'm about to start my meal prep, so I decided to make myself an oatmeal bowl. I am, of course, on the purple plan again this week. So in my bowl here, super simple. I have a little over half of a cup of the Thrive Organic Rolled Oats. Cook that in the microwave with just a little bit of water. This here is one point worth of this 100% grass-fed Maple Hill Organic. This is whole milk Greek yogurt. So I like to add this to my bowl because it gives it that creamy consistency. So I added one point worth of that. I have a big pile of the Trader Joe's Organic Blueberries. Also, I have one point worth of the Trader Joe's Organic Unsweetened Flake Coconut. I like that just for the texture piece of it. Same with the almonds. They're just these slivered almonds from Nutstop. Don't forget Nutstop, there is 10% off. I'll put it here on the screen and there's a uh, link down below. So I added one point or one tablespoon worth of those. And then I did one teaspoon of the organic Vermont maple syrup for one smart point. So my breakfast is one for the yogurt, one for the almonds, one for the coconut, and one for the syrup five smart points on the purple plan. Look at this, you guys, yum. So I have a little mini haul that I wanted to throw in here. I had to stop at one of our local stores to grab another loaf of bread and some hamburger buns, and I picked up a few other things that I saw that were on a really good sale. First of all, these new chick on the block from Collie Power. You guys know I love these. Normally these are $9.99 a bag and they were $6.99 on sale. So I picked up the spicy-ish chicken tenders. I use these in my favorite salad. It is on my website. I'll put my website here on the screen. But I am not a spicy food person, but if you put these with the rest of the salad ingredients, they're not spicy. They just add really good flavor. So I picked up another bag of those. And then I do like just the plain new chick on the block as well. These are one smart point per tender. I always weigh them out because the pieces vary in size, but really, really low points. You can have three tenders for three points. So good ingredients, love, love, love those. And for $6.99 a bag, that was a steal. Got some hamburger buns just because we're gonna make hamburgers slash turkey burgers for dinner. These have become one of my favorite little desserts. These are the So Delicious Dairy-Free Coconut Milk Sandwiches. These are so good. They have decent ingredients. There's a couple things I don't love, but for a dessert, this is one of the best options I can find. They're so good. So this is the size of them. I did open them up, but this is the size. So, I mean, they're a decent size little ice cream sandwich, and they really, really are so good, so I grabbed those for dessert. Also, I have a dessert I like to make with these, plus I like these for breakfast. These are the Vans Gluten-Free Original Waffles. Excellent ingredients in these. That's why I picked these up, and the gluten-free actually tastes really good. Another loaf of bread for my husband. I don't know if we would have had enough for the entire week for his sandwiches. And then since I'm on the purple plan this next week, I picked up popcorn. So I grabbed these Colonel's Heirloom. Whenever you buy popcorn, make sure you pick up non-GMO. Otherwise, it is all GMO corn, which is not good. So I went ahead and picked these up. These are the little teeny heirloom kernels. They're smaller than regular popcorn kernels but supposedly it makes really good popcorn. And then my favorite soda was on sale for $3.49, a six pack versus $4.99, and they have every flavor. So I grabbed grapefruit, which I've never tried, 
and this is actually my very favorite. This is the ginger root beer. This pop has no caramel color, and the only kind of questionable ingredient is natural flavors, but if you want a pop, this is really truly the best option. So that's my little fun midweek haul. Mommy's gonna eat lunch. Do you think you guys need a little treat before we have lunch? All right, let's do it. Let's get a treat. Let's see, how about a whimsy? Yeah, we love whimsies. Oh yeah, we're so excited. All right, everyone sit. Do you want a whimsy? Okay, whimsy for you, whimsy for you. All right guys, it's after 12, and I ate breakfast at 7.15. Whew, that held me over. So I'm gonna have a pretty big lunch here. So I made two little wraps. I am so excited about these jicama wraps from Trader Joe's. You guys, these are zero points. It's literally just jicama, but they are these thin wraps. I don't know if you can see it here. They're really pliable fabulous for tacos, but I decided to make like a wrap sandwich. So I have two of the jicama wraps, and then on each wrap, I have half of a tablespoon of my Chosen Foods avocado oil mayo, and then I also have two slices of the Applegate Natural smoked turkey breast, and I top that with just a little bit of arugula for a little bit of crunch and some greens. So the jicama wraps are zero, the arugula is zero, the turkey is zero, the one tablespoon of the mayo is three points. I also have one serving of these pretzels. You guys know I love these from the ground up butternut squash pretzels. You can have an entire serving for three smart points. And then I'm having a bowl of these beautiful fruit. These strawberries are stellar. They came from Trader Joe's, they're organic, they are amazing. Fruit is finally at its peak, which makes me so happy. So that is zero. So my entire lunch, you guys, six smart points. We got a new fridge. I'm so excited. We're actually getting all new appliances. First thing to come in though is our LG fridge. It's so awesome, you guys. It's super cool. You knock on this glass and the light turns on so you can see what's in your fridge. Love it. It's got the two drawers at the bottom. We hated our side-by-side so much. It all started from our microwave. Remember I told you guys that this little guy died. So our home warranty is allowing us to get a new one. Well, we decided we wanted black stainless steel, which is what this is. So it's a little bit different, different color. So anyways, we decided we wanted that. And so in order for our appliances to match, we bought all new appliances. So our stove is on its way. And then over here, is my dishwasher. So unfortunately, we do not have our microwave yet. They only were able to, there's my old dishwasher, to deliver our beautiful fridge and the dishwasher. So when the rest of the appliances come in, we'll actually have the dishwasher installed. And then I'll show you guys next week what the whole new kitchen looks like with the new appliances. But <gasps> this fridge is a beaut. Guys, here's my afternoon snack. It's just before three o'clock. I made a protein shake. This has been literally my go-to for the last few days. Not shown is a frozen banana that's a must-have in this. Subs is your ice, but also makes this a peanut butter banana goodness. And then I put in one half of a cup of forage or cashew milk. Now, if you're using an almond milk that's one point for a cup, I would use the whole cup of almond milk. This one is two smart points for a cup. So I decided to do half cashew milk, half water, so that I it only cost me one smart point. And then I showed this in my What I Eat in a Week on Purple, and I'm loving this Primal Kitchen Collagen Fuel. So basically, this is packed full of collagen, and collagen is great for hair and nails. It is non-dairy, it's primal, paleo, keto, non-gluten, grain, whey, or soy ingredients, no fillers, and it's really, really good for recovery and your joints. It's just a really great thing to have. You guys know I have it every morning in my coffee, and I get a little extra scoop of collagen when I use this. Plus, I'm getting 11 grams of protein. This peanut butter one is thebomb.com. I am obsessed. I'm going to link this down below for you guys. There are other flavors of the Primal Kitchen collagen, but this one is my favorite. So good. It's two smart points for a scoop. So this peanut butter banana deliciousness is only three smart points. All right, you guys check this out. Look at this mini fridge. 
This is for Troy for his garage. It's brand new. We haven't even like really unwrapped it all yet, but look at how gorgeous this thing is on the inside. Lots and lots of racks. We're gonna use it as beverages in our garage. There's even a section down here, like a larger section that you could put bottles or cans. You can remove shelves if you wanna remove shelves. You guys, it's so awesome. It's a 126 can beverage cooler. It has a really pretty kind of glass front. So if we remove the styrofoam, I didn't wanna take his whole cooler apart, but you can see inside. So it could go under a counter. It can go in a bar area. You guys, this thing is really awesome and it's super, super affordable. I wanna say it was about $395, which is great for a cooling fridge for a garage or under the countertop. Troy is so excited to have this as his new garage, beer, soda, water fridge. So I just had to kind of show that to you guys, especially with Father's Day coming up. This would be a fantastic Father's Day gift. Literally fantastic. I'm gonna reach out to the company we bought, or we got this from New Air. Yeah, we got this from New Air. That's the brand, here's the model number. I'm gonna reach out to them to see if I can get you guys a discount just on the off chance. If so, I will definitely put that here on the screen and link this down below. You guys, fabulous father's gift idea. All right, guys, we're gonna draw for the teamy greens from my What I Eat in a Day last week. So this little baby is going to one lucky winner. So to do that, I go ahead and enter the URL of my video and I'm gonna filter duplicate. So that means that if somebody left more than one comment, it'll filter that out. So now it's going through all of the comments and it looks like there's 102 unique comments and then we're going to go right down here to start dun 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 and it's going to randomly pick our winner of the teamy greens the winner is barbara beagle congrats barbara you have 48 hours to reach out to me via email my email is in the description box to claim your prize. I just need your address. Now, if I don't hear from Barbara, I'll redraw, but Barbara, don't forget to reach out via email. Now, if you guys are interested in the Teamy Greens or really any Teamy products, my code here on the screen actually gets you 25% off. I like to put this in my smoothies and protein shakes to get that little burst of green. So yeah, congrats, Barbara. For dinner tonight, we are going comfort food. We are making pesto mac and cheese with some bacon. It's going to be decadent and absolutely delicious. So let me show you what is in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need breadcrumbs, minced garlic, whole milk, some type of flour, usually all purpose is just fine. Also, I'm using the Trader Joe's light shredded three cheese blend, salt and pepper, Parmesan cheese, butter of your choice. You can either use real bacon or bacon bits. I'm gonna use up these bacon bits just because there's about three tablespoons left, which is exactly what I need for this recipe. Pesto sauce of your choice. And since I'm on the purple plan this week, I'm using the organic whole wheat bow tie pasta because it's zero points on the purple plan. So I am going to include the points using fiber gourmet pasta. If you follow blue or purple, that's the best pasta and points. And I'll also include the points for the purple plan using the wheat pasta. So you have a few options on my website. So let's make mac and cheese. I have a pot here coming to a boil and we're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is cook down the entire 16 ounce bag of pasta drain it and then it goes here in a separate bowl because we're going to use this same pan to make the rest of our mac and cheese. So back into the same pot, I went ahead and put two tablespoons of butter. Again, I use the Melt plant-based butter. I love this butter. So I put two tablespoons of that. I have quite a big chunk of minced garlic. We're gonna let this cook down for just a couple of minutes. 
Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the two tablespoons of flour, and we're gonna stir this together for a couple of minutes or until the flour turns nice and brown. So it's gonna start to brown and cook down with the butter and the garlic. And then that's our cue to add in our milk, some salt, and some pepper. Next step is to add two and a half cups of whole milk directly to your flour, garlic, and butter mixture. And then I'm also going to add a big pinch of salt and a big pinch of pepper. And then we're going to whisk this until we have no more lumps of flour. And we're gonna allow this to go ahead and come to a boil. I do have this over medium heat. All right, once it comes to a boil, you're gonna whisk it until all of the lumps are gone. I think I said I had it over medium heat. I have it over medium high heat. And now that it's nice and thickened, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat now to medium. We're gonna go ahead and add in eight ounces or one cup essentially of the Trader Joe's light shredded Mexican cheese. We're also going to add one quarter cup of pesto sauce. And we're going to add half of the crumbled bacon. And then we're gonna give this a stir and we're gonna let this cook down for just a minute. All right, so the sauce is done, nice and thick. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that directly on to our pasta. Give it a quick stir and then it'll be ready to go into the grease nine by 13 baking dish. So I went ahead and put it into my baking dish that I sprayed with nonstick cooking spray. To the top, we're gonna go ahead and add one quarter cup of breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. And I went ahead and mixed those two quarter cups together. And we're just going to sprinkle that on top of our pasta. And then it will be ready to go into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. I just pulled out the mac and cheese, topped it with a little bit of parsley and the other half of those bacon bits. This looks so good, look at that so cheesy and yummy. So I'm gonna let this rest for a couple minutes. I do have a bag of vegetables in the microwave. I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. All right, so here is dinner. So I went ahead and cut that mac and cheese into eight equal servings. I have some of the great value organic mixed veggies. These are them right here. I just threw these in the microwave. Those are zero on the purple plan. I believe it's two points on the green and zero on the blue. And then I'm currently following the purple plan. So my pasta is six smart points for one eighth of the mac and cheese. Now, if you're on the blue or the green plan, it is eight smart points for one eighth of the mac and cheese. So my dinner is a total of six smart points. Alrighty guys, here's dessert. I'm gonna do some smart sweets, peach rings. These are my jam, these are my favorite thing. You can have this entire bag of peach rings and they taste just as good as these store-bought peach rings loaded with sugar for three smart points. Three grams of sugar, three smart points on all plants. They are so good. They just recently reformulated their candy. They took out some questionable ingredients and added in allulose, which is a natural sweetener that's derived from raisins and figs. So it's a really good flavor, really good sweetness, made the texture of these stellar. And literally this entire bag, 100 calories, three smart points. My code here on the screen gets you 10% off. They just recently changed their promotion. That's a better deal. 10% off of any order of $30 or more on the Smart Sweets website. And they have six different types of candy. Definitely check them out. So this is gonna end my day with a three smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. As I mentioned, I am still on the purple plan. I'm giving it another shot this next week to see how I feel after two solid weeks on the plan. So definitely stay tuned for a little bit of an update in my weigh-in this coming up Friday. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. I'd love for you to stick around, join my YouTube friends and family, hit that little subscribe button, and make sure you ring the bell next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. All of the recipes that I shared with you today are on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box. Also in the description box is the link to come over and join my Facebook group. We would love to have you be part of our community over there. Such a wonderful, supportive place to be. Also in the description box are the 
websites and links, discount codes to all of my favorite things, especially the things I shared here with you today. So definitely check that out. And don't forget, if you are the winner of my Teamy Greens giveaway, you do have 48 hours to send me an email and my email is also in the description box. So congratulations on winning the Teamy Greens. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Give this video a thumbs up if you love these What I Eat In A Days and I'd love to talk with you down in the comments section. I hope you guys are doing really well, enjoying your time at home with your family, staying safe and healthy. I love you guys to pieces and I'll see you next Next time. Bye. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh -huh.